uh, tutorial I will be showing you how to create uh, a Joomla app within Joomla using only RS Forms. RS Forms has lots of features that uh, nobody really knows about and I will try to explain some in this tutorial. First off we have to install RS Forms Pro. I downloaded it already. There you go. I'm installing the components. I'm installing a module, RS Form List. And I'm installing a plugin, the content plugin to show the forms on the page where I want to. To use it, I have to activate the RS Forms plugin. And then I can use an RS Forms filter. All right, all is done. Here we go. First off, I will delete the examples. What I'm going to do is create an address list that people can uh, edit the front end, the entries and add. Let's see how this works. I'm going to skip the wizard. I'm going to create a form field, text box, name, name, validation required, text box, address, address, validation required. Text box zip code validations required. Right. And you can do whatever you want with this, of course. I'm going to do it simple now. City, city. I would also say required. We need to add a submit button. The button is here. Usually, you use RS Forms to create email templates and email forms. I'm not going to do anything with email here. I'm only going to use this for a web app, say. Let's see how this looks, how we can present this. First off, form properties. I go to form info give it a name also here there you go rs form id is 3 i'm going to create a new page i'm going to call this uh, add address think this is it. I'm not sure, otherwise I'll have to change the syntax later on. Alright, then we have to make a menu. We're going to make it an individual page, article, single article, add address, and here I'm going to select the article. Let's check out how this is working. There you go. Oh, here we go. Address list name. Martin Runar 55. All right. It all works. I can continue. But still, there's no list. There's nothing to be shown here. To make it work, there's a feature inside of RS Forms called Manage Directories. This is not configured at this time. I need to configure it. To enable it, configure the settings for the directory and click Save. 
edit on submissions. And super users can edit anything and register and output in here. Enable PDF support, enable CSV support. I'll just enable this. You can see later on how this works. Having done this, it's now configured. And this is the first step to show the entries on the front end. I've configured it, but now I have to make a menu item showing the entries on the front end. Entries. Select RS Forms Pro, Submissions Directory. Select which one. From address list, the third ID in the form. Having more forms will populate this pull down, but for now this is the only one. Enable submissions. Set yes. I show only. Well, that's a choice you can make. I'm not going to uh, use this at this time. Having done that, we have an extra menu. First, we can add an address. And with entries, we can view what is in here. But as you can see, it's quite empty. I can only see a PDF icon. I have to do something else in the submission entries. Manage submissions. Here you are. Manage directories, I'm sorry. That's the one. And here, I can have some other things I can set up, for instance fields or info. Fields show in listing, I can put everything in, but these are fields that are made by RS forms and not really necessary, so I'm not going to show them. I make everything searchable, I make everything editable except the default RS forms, show in details, also not the things and export everything. Listing, searchable, editable. Listing is the listing for all the entries underneath each other. Editable is the edit field, sort of details field. This, that's this and export this. Having done that, we can see what happens now. Voila. Oh, this is nice. Here I can search my entries. Here I can download them as CSV if I have selected them. All in the front end. And I can edit them. View. There's no edit option as you can see. I can download it as a PDF. But the second I log on, I can edit. And this is a really powerful feature for creating a sort of a web app. You can put any data you want in here, any kind of field that you can think of within IRS forms and you can basically manage your data online in the front end without needing to give your users access to the back end. For instance if I just change my name here with a head, head uh, first uh, the capital M so even close you can see it's changed. This is a really easy way to manage data that you can create yourself, your own data set, within the front end of your Joomla. It's a bit of building your own small app. And the only thing you need to do this is Aeros Forms Pro and the knowledge how to use it. It's really, really nice. This is the PDF file that I just downloaded. I can edit and view. All pretty neat, working, just the way I want. Now I can edit when I log out. Edit option is gone. There's only a few options. There are some more tricks you can use. For instance, if you want to manage forms and have some fields pre predefined, like the person that first um, filled this form out, it's the user, the username of the person that's logged on, if you want that, you can edit some PHP in this field. For instance, 
with the default value you can put some PHP in there. I'll have to search for that. One moment, please. Alright, I'll be right back. For instance, if I would uh, use uh, form form fields, sorry, everything's wrong. I'll be right back for us. Please wait one second. I'm fetching the PHP code to populate a field. Just take a second. There you go. Components. This is a small piece of PHP code that you can use to put the default username of the person that's logged on to your website. And you have to use the logon, of course, to use this. If you want to, uh, yes, well, we'll see how this works. I will log myself onto the website. And now I want to add an address, and as you can see, my name is predefined. Really powerful stuff here. If you want to add a date or something, calendar, date and time picker, date and time, save and close. Up here. All right, let's see how this looks. Select the date, select the time. And as you can see now, it's added. Within entries, the date and time are not coming, are not being visible. In order to make them visible, I have to go back to my back office, manage directories, go to the directory address list and add the field I just added. Also, to make showing listing searchable, editable, showing details and export options. Having done that, well, this is the most easy way, I think so. All right, save and close. I can go to entries and my date and time are visible. Really powerful stuff to create your own app, your own application within Joomla. Well, that's it for me. I hope you uh, learned something and subscribe to more of my videos.